I mean, sure, we haven't even seen the first New Mutants. Fox wasn't even sure if it was going to be a success. But as a tale as old as time, a trilogy was planned. So let's hear about some of those ideas. They always say never plan a trilogy without seeing how the first one is going. And with comic book movies, we've seen this play out in a pretty terrible fashion plenty of times, most notably The Amazing Spider-Man. If you guys remember, they announced The Amazing Spider-Man 2, 3, 4, and multiple spin-offs, and well, um, yeah. But as it turns out, when they approached the New Mutants, they were looking at it as a standalone film, but of course Fox wanted more ad of it if it was to be greenlit. Therefore, they wanted ideas for the sequels and a potential trilogy. And recently, Josh Boone, the director of the film, opened up about some of those ideas and what we could have seen if it got a full trilogy. So first up, Josh Boone described how he came up with the idea to pitch the New Mutants to Fox. He actually took panels from comics, cut them up, and put together a storyboard to pitch it to them, giving them an idea of what the final product would be and how it's different yet still in the X-Men universe. But that wasn't it. When he was asked to lay out a future sequel and then one after that because they were interested in approaching this considering it would be a cheaper genre film in the horror genre, they were automatically ready to sign on because Again, it'll make money. So he revealed that some of the stuff, such as the second film, was going to go in a different route as all three films in the trilogy would be focused on different genre types of horror films. Meaning, you know, there's obviously horror thrillers, there's horror science fiction, horror comedy. So they were going to play with that. And the second one would have featured the character Warlock. And then there would have been some sort of setup to an inevitable X-Men crossover, but there also would have been one called Inferno, and that's sort of the uh, post-apocalyptic horror movie that they were looking at. That was going to be sort of a third chapter, if you will. Now, I do like this idea. It reminds me of American Horror Story to a degree, where the seasons were individually different from one another. Different themes, different types of horror, you know, different types of environments, yet you would still see many of the same actors. And then eventually, I don't want to spoil it for you, but there is some crossover there between certain seasons that you thought weren't connected. So I do like this idea, and it's kind of a bummer we're never going to see how this plays out. But again, you know, it's kind of um, something that has to be left out in the open for now. Being like, hey, this was an idea. Who knows what will happen, but now you guys know. Maybe New Mutants 1 will be a success, and they can do a spin-off Marvel brand. I mean, who really knows at this point, but I like what they were saying. It sounds pretty interesting. 